Okay, white wrap. This, um, this one was kind of pretty neat, like, cause, like, like, to any normal person, you'd kind of think it sucked. But seeing that the fact that we recorded this, and then put in the, the music in later on, I think it was pretty good. Like, I was surprised how I kind of got the beat right beat and rhythm right in most of the parts. Some of them were complete fail, but, you know, whatever. Um, white rap, he, he just wanted to call it, and, uh, I, I don't know. Anyway, I, I think that, that, that it isn't for everybody, you know. It It's controversial, again. Um, if you don't have an open-minded sense of humor, don't watch it, if you do by all means but um, yeah the Wigger music video uh, this was a song by Weird Al um, it was his idea to do a video about it um, I just kinda went along with it um, I think it was pretty cool and I think the the song is really really funny you know Talking about a white guy who wants to be a black guy. That's basically what a wigger is. You know, it's... It's, uh... I think I'm allowed to say that, right? Wigger? Yeah. Just can't... Change the W to a N. That'd be... Racist. And wrong. So, yeah. Hunger Get What Hunger Want. This is kind of a parody of, um, oh, I can't remember the commercials, but there's this commercial where, like, I don't know if any of you remember, but, like, there's this, this commercial where, like, like this, like, hand ca comes out of someone's stomach, and they, like, steal, like, a hot dog or something like that, and it takes it in, and then there's this guy that's like, Hunger Get What Hunger Want, and... I can't remember. It's it's some beef commercial, I think. Um, it's kind of old, so I don't think they're broadcasting it anymore. For anyone who knows what I'm talking about, please let me know. But, you know. It was fun, I guess. <laughs> okay, straight camp. Another controversial video. It was, um... <clears throat> uh, it was originally called f uh, Fag Class, but I thought that, you know, you know, again, another title that he thought up, Matthew did. Um, yeah, I thought that was a little too harsh, and I just thought Straight Camp would be a bit better, but, um, you know, we don't have anything against homosexuals. At least I don't. <laughs> Not a lot. I don't know. I don't know. Gay people have left me alone so far, so... Yeah. Um... Yes. Yeah, my friend Matthew, I mean, if you haven't figured it out by now, he's kind of... He's... He's a honky. He's a... He's a straight-up honk. Uh, but somehow we, we get along, and it's crazy, so, yeah. Alright, next video, Turkey Cannon. Now this, um, I made at an internship at, like, public access at my public library. Like, apparently, you guys all know what I'm talking about, like, public access. It's, you know, where they broadcast, you know, local people doing stuff and it's absolutely free like if you want to like start your own show or something you can do that on public access but you know it's kind of dumb because I mean nobody watches public access okay I mean if you're not the guy out there making it nobody knows who you are so you can have something on public access and very little people know about it at least young people
But yeah, that was kind of a rough copy. That wasn't like the final copy. The final copy looked a little bit better. Like the the cannon part wasn't you know off and stuff like that. Um, that was I I made that on a software called Motion. It's on Mac and it's awesome. If I could find out a way to somehow maybe download it, which probably not. I'm guessing it costs at least. It probably costs a lot of money because it is impressive. It is very, very impressive. I mean, what I did on there is just amateur. I could have done so much more, but a lot of the stuff that I do with motion, I never really got around to putting it on YouTube. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's kind of my life at the uh, interning. There was usually a lot not going on. He was usually dead most of the time. And, and the people who worked there, they seemed pretty cool, but, you know, they kind of seemed a little weird at times. Except the supervisor, of course. The supervisor's always cool. I mean, seriously, I mean, I mean, without a cool supervisor, the, the, the business is dead. Even though it's not really a business, it's kind of something that's run by the government, but same thing. <laughs> oh, that just gave me another thought. There's a lot of people down there that, um, that, that, you know, who are, like, really conservative. Like, people who have their own shows and stuff on, like, public access. It's just like, oh, the government's bad, you know, we shouldn't have all this government. And it's just like, alright, okay, so what are you doing? in a public library run by the government paid for by taxpayers public access you know how about private library private access dumb fuck but of course you know there's no such thing as a private library there's no such thing as private access because if there was a private access it would be all about money and not everybody could be able to have their own channel because you know most of the time public access they don't really necessarily care what's on their channel because they're not trying to make money they're just trying to have you know the average Joe have a little crappy show that's all it is I don't know there's some weird people <laughs> I met a lot of weird people there um, there was, oh yeah, there was also this other guy who was a real Christian. I mean, he would talk to me about, like, and I mean, I mean I'm religious too, kind of. I haven't really exactly been to church since college started. I think I probably should start soon, but he kept talking about, like, talking to me like, uh, you staying with the Lord and everything, and I, you know, I just play along and say, yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, without the Lord, you you have, you have nothing to live or something like that. I, I can't remember everything that he said, but, man, he was he, he was a true believer. There were a lot of religious people there. Anyway, moving on. H1N1, Community on Alert. My least viewed uh, video, I think. And which makes sense because basically it was just another thing that I had to make for public access in my internship. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty, you know, the title says all, okay? And I th oh, and the reason why I entered in there, just so I could get an understanding of what it's like to, you know, maybe do some communications. It's it's all right. I mean, it's really boring at times, but you know, whatever. Uh, I saw a ghost music video, another school project. Except this one was my senior year, and it was for AP English. I wasn't really that involved in this music video. All I really I was the camera guy, and on that little. 
uh, whatever it's called, it's summer. It's not. It's like a four-way somersault type type deal. And uh, I think I was just in one scene of that. Yeah, I was. I couldn't. I couldn't really do it because I had the internship, and so I couldn't stay really after school and whatnot. So that's. I was just the camera guy. That was it. I didn't edit at all. It's just. The only reason I uploaded on it was because I was the only one who had a YouTube account. So they just they just run to me whenever they want something uploaded. <laughs> um, Alright. The Soda Experiment. Um, this one was pretty cool. I mean, I thought it's pretty funny. Because basically it's just us at night throwing cans up in the air and having them smash on the ground by, you know, public, you know, just on the asphalt. And then afterwards, it just looked like someone got in a fight and just blood just splattered everywhere. And, and I really liked the way Lucas, like, threw the, like, I think it was the last can. I don't, I don't know. It was weird. It was weird. It just makes me laugh because it's just like I've never seen anyone throw like that, and I'm sure it's pretty easy, but <laughs> it was just funny to me. I guess I just have a weird sense of humor. Mm. Mm. Lucas. Lucas has a great fall, my shortest video, and basically, well, it was originally called Superman, but, you know, I was just kind of like, oh, that's dumb. But basically, <laughs> that was made around 2007, and at the time, my god, sledding was fun. It was fun. I mean, I mean, what, what, what? I mean, what else is there to do in the winter besides sled, you know? You know, sledding's fun. I mean, as long as you don't do the little pussy thing where you just sit on it and you just lay down and... No, we make it fun. We make it exciting. We'll, like, stand up on it. We'll, like, we'll run up and stand on them and we'll make ramps and we'll just, we'll sometimes just fall off on purpose just to, you know, shits and giggles and stuff like that. And, it, you know, it was fun. It was fun. It was just, just a bunch of kids having a good time in the snow. Yeah. And I just kind of like the way he fell. Apparently, that actually, that fell hurt really bad. It didn't seem like it, but apparently it kind of hurt. There is another one that I never got the chance to upload, but like, uh, this was one with Craig, like he's, he's like sledding backwards, right? And he goes on this ramp, and when he goes up, he lands down, and like this rock goes like, right up his ass, and it, <laughs> he's just like, oh my god, ah, oh, my ass, and <laughs> it was funny, it was hysterical. Uh, I don't know why I didn't upload it. And it was kind of based around the same time period, too. So, it was good. It was good times. Good times. 